Cougar football fans become pirates to welcome new head coach Mike Leach. And he wasted no time getting them fired up. And the buzz has been building ever since WSU announced former Texas Tech coach Mike Leach would lead the Cougs next year. Well, Leach uh, led Texas Tech to 10 straight bowl games and in the world college football where big wins, big money, and big names is the name of the game. Mike Leach is considered a big victory for WSU. KXY4 in-depth coverage tonight of Cougar football begins with sports director Ben Kaplan live in Pullman. And Ben, an electrifying day for the campus. Yeah, Nadine, Mike Leach said that his kids wanted him to become the 33rd head football coach in Washington State history, in part because it snows at times in Pullman. He said he wanted the job because he believes he can win here. Cougar fans hope he's right. The nicknames have already started rolling in. Pirate of the Palouse, anybody? But there is one name Cougar fans hope Mike Leach sticks to for a while. For our new head coach at Washington State University, Mike Leach. Leach was introduced today to plenty of fanfare and with all the expectations an $11 million contract brings. Nobody wants to win more than the coaches and the, and the players. And while he knows there is plenty of work ahead, like assembling a staff and a recruiting class, it's no surprise he was also willing to have lots of fun. Now they'll give you some cool stuff. You get one of these. Yeah, I mean, if you guys weren't here, I'd be trying it on, parading around and, you know, flexing a little bit in it. The hope is Leach's teams flex some muscle on the field next season, and if they do, that he won't leave for a bigger job. It's just like when I was at Texas Tech. We won 29 games in the last three years. I wasn't in a hurry to go anywhere. If he does that in Pullman, Leach can go by any nickname he wants. And as of right now, Leach should be over in Seattle meeting with alumni and fans on the west side. Then he and his family will head back to Key West for a couple days before he hits the road for recruiting and to put together his coaching staff. We'll have much more on what Leach hopes the football team will look like coming up at 6. We're live in Pullman, Ben Kaplan for KXLY 4 HD News. All right, thank you, Ben. Well, a record of just 9 and 40 in the last four years has left many Cougar faithful bleeding crimson <laughs> on the Palouse. Yeah, a big name coach with a big time record instantly sets hearts on fire for victory and the smell of roses, mm. of course. KXY 4's Aaron Luna is also in Pullman tonight. And Aaron, I'll tell you what, there's a party atmosphere out there tonight, isn't there? And without throwing anyone under the bus, I talked to students as well as some teachers who ditched class to come down to today's event. Everyone using the same word to describe the atmosphere. Exciting. With the back and forth finally figured out in Cougar country, it was finally time for the fans to meet their new captain, Mike Leach. Excitement. Lots of excitement. Crimson and Gray filled the room with the occasional pirate black mixed in. There's going to be people dressed as pirates all over the place. I mean, it's going to be insane next fall. Fans, students, and alumni hoping to hijack a ship on its way to a flower-filled bowl game. Ten seasons, ten um, bowl games. And it's been, like, what, 2003 since we've been to a bowl game? Part of today's fanfare also being about the new coach's antics on and off the field. I used to watch him at Texas Tech because he was so exciting to watch. He brought so much energy, I guess. It would be safe to say YouTube videos with Mike Leach just scored thousands of more hits. Ever since he got hired, we've all been looking at YouTube videos of him down at uh, Texas Tech. Fat Little Girlfriends is probably my favorite thing that I've seen so far. Fans expressed a little sadness for the departing coach, Paul Wolf. Once a coog, always a coog. But agree it's time time to set sail. One word, awesome. Definitely glad to see what he can do, especially with Marquise Wilson and Jeff Toole connecting up for a big air raid offense. You know, I would almost bet that the dollar store here in Pullman had a record day selling all their pirate gear, and you can expect that to only get better come next season. Reporting live on the WSU campus, Aaron Luna, KXLY4 HD News.